What's going on, guys? Welcome to another vintage cube draft here on Yu Gi Oh! Uh, Dragon Force. Uh, Voltron. I'm here with Hat Nick, and we're doing a stipulation by someone who just wanted to go by a long time YouTube creeper. And uh, Super Friends is the stipulation. We've done a Super Friends draft before, it was awesome. And unfortunately, we're going to have to pass this Elspeth. Uh, and it's minimum four colors and minimum eight planeswalkers. Soul Ring's pretty good. Yeah, but there's a Garrick. That's kind of like a Soul Ring. I don't have even. I don't even have time for the words that you're saying. Oh, there's a Garrick. It's kind of like Soul Ring. <laughs> you can. The best part about this stipulation is that you can tell the planeswalkers because you just look for the cards with no art. <laughs> you're like, oh, look, there's three in here. Fantastic. I don't know if any of these are great. I kind of just want the Volcanic Island if we're going four colors. Yeah, I mean... None of these really... This guy's going to table, 1,000%. Yeah, yeah, Garrick will get back to us, and if we're taking a Volcanic Island, uh, that can cast him at some point, right? Maybe? Prob probably. It can pay for one of the colorless mana. What were you saying? It's Sorry? kind of sweeper or buff. No, no. Can he even draw anything? Cast Garrick. <laughs> so, just, just to be just clear... Take, just take Volcanic Just to be clear, two out of two statements out of your mouth in this draft so far have been nonsense. Yeah, I know. Okay, just... We're, we're, I just want to confirm that, that was that the count was correct. I, I just want us to know, like, we're we're it's yeah. <laughs> I just want to know where we're it's yeah. I agree with you. It is where we're it's yeah. I mean, if we're taking lands, let's take. Bribery's good. Bribery's <laughs> like the this this guy's all right. The thing is, like, we can get planeswalkers go around so late that I don't feel like yeah. we have to prioritize them. I would rather just take the cards that are crazy good, and then get the planeswalkers when they come back. I because... mean, Armageddon's good in a planeswalker deck. But not good in a four color deck. And there's no planeswalkers in here, so I think we just take one of these lands. Yeah. Probably one of these fetcherinos. Yeah. Uh let's see here. I we saw Gideon, we saw Tamio. Um, we saw Liliana and we saw other Garrick. So do we want to take like maybe Stomping Ground? What's going on, Violing? Um so, yeah, I like Stomping Ground. Like, cause if we get, I like, hollow, I like, I like, I like both of them. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I like both of them too. Um, but I think we're more likely to get back Garrick's than we are like the Elspeth or I, the Gideon. I can get behind. I can get behind what you're saying. This is a pretty good Gideon. Yeah, it is a Planeswalker. Also, Marari's Wake is pretty good in the Planeswalker. That girl Signet's very good. Muldrifter is Muldrifter. Yeah, we gotta get to eight Planeswalkers. So I feel like we should start taking Planeswalkers. <laughs> it sucks that the first one is Gideon, double white. Oh, there's an Nahiri's actually very good. Yeah, that's awesome. I'll take it. Deal. Oh, man. He is a Planeswalker. It's, it, it's going to be terrible in our deck, right? It, Correct? It's going to be the worst. So we take Joyra, which triggers on all of the Planeswalkers. Yes. That seems good. That's a good Nissa. I actually like this yeah. Nissa a lot. And we already got a Forest. Look, we already have three Planeswalkers of the eight. This is why I wasn't worried yeah. about it, because, like, you can get all of them in the first pack, almost. Hey, Hat Mike, how many hats do you own, and why is it one? <laughs> um, I own several hats, but I only like this one. Why do you own the other ones? You should throw them in the street. Uh, one of them is a, a memento from a tournament, and give, one was given to me. Give them to a homeless shelter, and then they could they could also feel the warmth of your your warm hats. Well, they're not all, like, they're not all wool caps. Like, they're, like... Would you say that any hat would keep a head warmer than no hat? That is a fair point, yeah. Well, there you go. Maybe if you didn't have such rudimentary feet, you would be hey, uh, listen, you, you would be in listen, better shape. I need you to not bring attention to my rudimentary feet. I'm so, very sensitive about that. So we were talking about uh, worms, like worms and magic, and how they have trample. You're like, how does this thing have trample? And then we were like, well, you know, if you're a guy and you're right here and a worm is just like this and it lands on you, that's basically like trample. And so it doesn't have to be just worms. It could be snakes, whatever. And we're like, what? well, it's not, you know, you have bipedal, you have quadrupeds. What do you call something with no no legs? You know, do you call it apedal? And uh, we looked it up and apparently they're just referred to as uh, creatures with, what was it? Legless vertebrates. Leg legless vertebrates. Uh, which which covers anything with rudimentary legs, rudimentary feet, or with no legs. So, a little lesson for you today. Also, apod was a -pod. another. Hey, there's Garrick. Was another term for it. So. So I, then I started to make fun of Nick's rudimentary feet. And, My feet uh, are very rudimentary. It was all downhill from there. I apologize for your 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 lot in life. 
It's it's okay, you know. It's it's been a hard life, but you know, you play with the cards you dealt. I remember that time you were like, "We should probably start taking planeswalkers. We got to get a minimum of eight. We have four now." <laughs> I think we're doing all right. I don't think you're wrong by any means. I just think I I, I was not as concerned with it as yeah. you were. Yeah. Also, having a bunch of four drops in a soul ring is pretty good because those yeah. are all turned dose. Yeah, they're they're all basically like. In case you guys didn't know, soul ring is not. A reasonable magic card. It's pretty reasonable. You you pay one get two. Pay one get two. Okay, Jiggy. I think Vantage is better here, right? We have a bunch of red and white cards. Yeah. I just want to take Kiki Jiggy in the off chance that we end up getting a combo. Oh, I do too. First big my sweet now tall my feet. What is going on? <laughs> oh wow, and you can't you, you misspell my name. Is that like some sort of a uh, some sort of retaliatory measure? Frange. That's that is not, Hey Frange. Is this remand? Probably remand. Oh, Neil Spires came back? Actually Manic Vandal's good too. Yeah. What do you think? Uh we got a lot of lands already, so let's take Manic Vandal. I'll take it, but I still might have actually went with Like, I don't think you can have too many Hey, my man. What you doing last pick, buddy? Oh, this is a good one. Hey, it's just for recall. Oh, a good that's one. a good one. <laughs> Oh, Tef I'm like, look at the Teferi, though, Nick. <laughs> no, I'll just take the Ancestral Recall. I'll put it right here in my Soul Ring pile. This is my one-drop pile. Uh, We, we could have had the combo. That's true, but triple reds doesn't yeah. seem like it's going to be super easy. Look uh, at Channel 2. My God. Uh, oh, my God. If you be disrespect, if you be respectful, I'll spell your name right. Wow, this is just punishment. Hey. In Kerwitz's absence, one rudimentary book. <laughs> Oh, Valley Man, fill in the void here, buddy. All right. Uh, Ooh, Delta gets a Swamp and Volcanic Island so far. Yeah. Do we have any black so far? No. Uh, not yet. But we do have a Shambling Bento. Green, blue, red, white. So we're already four colors. So we're fine there. Um, could just be Jace. Could be Jace. Could be. I don't think it's Xenagos. I don't yeah. think we. We, we could probably avoid our four. Could be Fraley's too, but. Yeah, I think... I think Fraley's actually comes back. Yeah, Fraley's is probably going to come back. No one um, appreciates Fraley's. Yeah, so I'm okay with Jace or the fetch land just to, I think Delta's just better, yeah. safer pick. Oh, Bloodstained Mire. We can get all of them. Oh, Ashiok. Ashiok is very hard to beat. On turn three. If we get a Mox, we can turn two, that bad boy. Bad lady. That bad, bad person. person. Nice. <laughs> Johnny Vengeant is also good. Oh, Sylvan Carry added seems exactly what you want in a deck yeah. like this. Yeah, and we'll, I mean, will we probably see, we'll probably see John, a Johnny. That guy's a Planeswalker, right? I mean, he prevents players from drawing ten cards, so <laughs> what? That's a strong ability. <laughs> Who would ever try to draw ten cards with that guy on the battlefield? That's that's insane. It's an amateur hour, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, only knuckleheads would ever draw ten cards with that in the battlefield. Bing, bing. I like Genesis Wave because we can get all our Planeswalkers into play. I think that's not terrible, especially if we can get the, ch the channel back, but I don't yeah, think that's happening. It's not. It's not. I don't know. I don't mind Lingering Souls. That's a good lingering way to like souls is good. put a bunch of dudes into play. Yeah. And uh, block them. Block them, sock them robots. <laughs> we can also go turn one Soul Ring into Everflowing Chalice for one. Uh, can we take Everflowing Chalice? It's my favorite card. I was. I knew it was. Uh, I think I'm fine with that. All right, let's do it. You're gonna go on the two spot. Yeah, it's it's a two, two. If you're playing it for zero, you're just you're you're probably playing storm. But if it's in your storm deck, you're nothing's going right here. I went to buy some poster frames, and I was like, oh, these are good prices. And it was like fifty bucks for two. And I went to check out, and it was thirty bucks for shipping. And I was like, nope. Well, I'm gonna keep looking. I was like, yeah, I don't feel like forty percent of my the, the the price should be on shipping. Probably not. Yeah. It's like when people uh, order cards for me. I'm like, all right, you spent um, you spent thirty cents on this card, and shipping is ninety nine cents. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> what do we have? One, two, three, four, five planeswalkers. So we need three more. Yeah, it's probably plateau here. Yeah, I I like plateau. I'm not thrilled about double red card here. True name is hard to beat. That's true, but what's your favorite all, card, French? All the spells in our deck are hard to cast. My, <laughs> I hate you. 
Uh, I have I answer this all the time actually. Oh, Garrick. Triple green. Oh god. We need to pick up more green fixing. Yeah, we, we don't have any green. We can also take Coligon's command, which is pretty good. That's pretty good too. Uh, we don't have a lot of cool stuff to get back with Sun Titan, but we could get. We can mystical stuff. tutor and search for a planeswalker. I don't, I don't think that's how that works, Frank. Oh, breeding pool's good. Yeah, that's good. We it's can also green. get it with Delta. Yeah, everything's everything's working. Burn, 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 burn. Oh, this guy came back too. We could yeah. have Kiki Jiki and two combi two combies. Two combies. I feel like taking this just in case we open time walk. What uh, Grandmaster? Yeah. To give. Uh, that's so to good of ancestral. Our, to give our time walk life link. No, it's yes, yes <laughs> to give it life link. Uh, the pastor might game back. That's unbelievable. Xenagos is not like super terrible. No, he's actually not bad. Mystic Snake. That is one of my favorite cards. Snake Boy. We're taking it, right? We're taking Snake Boy. I guess so. And we oh, already have Colagon's Command and Manic Vandal, so we don't really need to center his deliverance. Anguish on Making has been good. Yeah. We're double. Where this could be hard to cast, and, and we're gonna have a ton of four drops already. I'm gonna take the Anguish on Making. Yeah. You like this guy yesterday? This guy's good. Oh, I like Revoker, but I don't think this is... A, actually, Revoker and Ancestral is yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. Or not Revoker, Dark Dwellers, rather. I was saying Revoker, but you knew what I was doing. Yeah. Everyone everyone knew. Watch where my mouse cursor is, not where my mouth is, okay? Hey, my mouse cursor's over here, buddy. <laughs> Alright, how many Planeswalkers right. you got? We got oh, enough. No, we don't have enough. I mean, we're real close. We have six. What? What? Whoa! <laughs> Ooh. Dude, Liliana's Death Majesty. That's a planeswalker. I'm gonna I'm gonna no. What's our heaviest? Blue or black? Uh black we only have Ashiok and Anguish I'm making. Blue we have a lot more stuff. So it's probably Mox Sapphire. Yeah, that's pretty good. Also both of these help cast Ashiok, which is what we were talking about. Also, I like the Mox Diamond that's sneaking in there as well. Like shout outs to the Mox Diamond. Stream City 2000, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, it's just got to be Sapphire, right? Yeah. Do you think we'll get this back? What, any... Uh, the jet? Or yeah. The, no, I, not a chance <laughs> in hell. <laughs> no, I do not. Wow, we got the Mox, we got uh, Soaring, and we have Ancestral. Wow, this is the best Planeswalker deck ever. Turn 1 Soaring with a Mox in hand is a turn 5... Turn 2 5 mana card. That's pretty good. Burn. You know, did you know Justin makes a bunch of, uh, like, lo-fi music? No, I didn't. Um, and I'm tempted to, like, put it on just, stream. Just, like, promote it on the stream? Yeah. I, I think that'd be cool. Well, not even just to promote it, but just to have some kind of background music, because yeah. I know it's not going to be copywritten. Yeah, because... I really want his. this, but I also really want this. I know you really want that, Frank. I feel like it's correct. And we got the Mock Sapphire... Zaxor, thank you for the bits, buddy. Ten moxes for day, T ten moxes for days, bits. <laughs> um, personally, I, I know. like. How's our fixing look? Like, and polluted delta grabs scrubland as well. I know. So, I'm more inclined to take the scrubland, but I mean, consecrated sphinx is a monster. We can also cast it really early with all the cards yeah. we have. Yeah, let's just take consecrated sphinx. God. I'm so, I was hoping this was a Black Lotus. <laughs> I, got, I was like, oh, oh. How many Planeswalkers are we at? Just to make sure we're... I think not we need point. three. Are we still... Sure, is not a Planeswalker. She, she's pretty close, though. Yeah. Six? So we need two more? Are we taking Flamecaller? Yeah, I could see Flamecaller being... Flamecaller is like still good. It's, like, it's, like it's a still very effect. good. It yeah. Is, yeah, I agree with you. Savannah. Or this one. Yeah, you're... Nah, um, sorry. I'm <laughs> this is actually one of the good Chandras, which is yeah. funny, because... She just gets poo pooed on now. Yeah. Uh, Savannah is a uh, forest, which is good yeah. for untapping with Nyssa. We can't get either, but we actually don't have that much green. We have three green fixing. We have a lot of white fixing. Vantage, Stomp, uh, Plateau, Shambling we have, Vent. We have more white fixing than we do white cards, so I kind of don't want to take that. But they're both white. Yeah. Like... So. I would rather take the one. Why don't we just take an oath of Nisa? <laughs> I 
I'm okay with that. Like, Othanisa makes our whole deck easier to cast. <laughs> I agree with you. I, I believe our mana concerns go away when we have Othanisa. <laughs> yeah. That's just Tiger, right? Chad agrees. <laughs> I, yeah. We have Stomping Ground and Tiger now. Which is not bad. Like, I think red and green are two of our higher, yeah. higher concentrated colors. We need one more Planeswalker, though. Hope we can get it. I'm going to be real sad if we end up with seven instead. Uh, what do we take? Spellskite? Maybe? I'm tempted to take Crucible and see if that Strip Mine comes back, but I don't think that's... That's that's so cute. Yeah. This guy's like a Planeswalker. Yeah, like... <laughs> half Planeswalker, half man. <laughs> I like Huntmaster here. Huntmaster is pretty sweet. We also do need some more playables, interestingly enough. Electrolyze is good. Rakdos' Return could be actually pretty good in this deck. I mean, worst case scenario, I guess we're just playing Koth. <laughs> we got Plateau, Taiga, Stomping Ground, so it's actually... And Volcanic Island. We have literally four we're, mountain dual lands. <laughs> we're going to, like, animate our mountain dual lands and hit people with them. It's one of these two, right? Uh, Yeah. Um, How good is Electrolyze in this? Like, from, my, from what I've seen, not very. In the cube, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think Rakdos' turn is probably yeah. going better. Mm. Primal Command is kind of like a Planeswalker. It's got four hidden modes. <laughs> Jesus. Um. I think we might want a removal, though. Yeah. I think Deccan Stone's probably fine. Yeah. I mean... Oh, no, it's looking bad. <laughs> yeah, my elder's kind of like a Planeswalker, right? He's got, like... Day of Judgment could actually be very good, too, though. Yeah. I think it's Day of Judgment. Yeah. Tarmogoyf's kind of like a planeswalker, uh, right? Oh, we're going to have seven. We're going to have to run this cough, I think. <laughs> oh, we did it. That's just better than cough. That's just <sighs> better than cough. All right. Fantastic. Woo. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, wow. That's a late sower. Yeah. That's almost playable here. We have to make two cuts here. Whatever, I'll take this Chaney Boy. Chaney Boy. So let's be sure we have one. Oh, they're going to move. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Planeswalkers, and we are all five colors. Dun, 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 dun. Oath of Nis. Oh, we also have those in this to come in. All right, well, now we need three cuts. Okay. Sower's probably coming out. You're double blue. Yeah. You will come in if we get uh, the Willamong matchup. Frost Titan, you're great, but I don't think we need a, a, a big endgame threat here. Uh, Soulfire Grandmaster's probably out. Okay. I think we're good. All right. Planeswalkers are basically long gotems. Yeah. <laughs> Scoot your leg over just a little bit. Oh. There you go. Burn, 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 burn. All right. So now we got to add all these lands. Here are two drop. Quit, quit playing. It costs zero, though. All right, let's actually open this bad boy first. All right. Referential. Add basics. So what do we got? How many white sources do we have? What? That's smart. Thank you. One, two... I don't think we have anything, any white sources to go with Delta. We don't. Okay, so one, two, three. We have three white sources. Five white cards. Six seems good for now. Yeah. All right. Blue sources, we have one, two, three, four, five. I'd rather go here and here. Yeah. I'll leave that for now. We'll say we're one over right now because we can probably cut something else. Mountain's probably getting cut. Uh, black, we have Delta, Vent, and this. Only three. But we only have four black cards and no double black. And we also have Sylvan Carry out and Oath of Nyssa, which do help us cast things. Yeah. So I think three is actually fine. I think so, too. We do have an Ashiok, though. Hmm. All right. Anyway, red, we have two. We can probably cut one of these, obviously. I, I think this is the only double white card, so whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's gonna be twelve. So, red we have one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't even know if we need one mountain. Like, this is six sources of red with no mountains. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus carry added, plus oath. How many green sources do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We also six. want some more forest for Nisa, right? I think this is correct. It's like six of everything. All right, let's do this. All right, let's rock and roll. Ooh, this deck looks spicy. Yeah. We didn't get Nicobolus, though, which is kind of sad. <clears throat> kind of sad. Uh, we also didn't get Emrakul for Nahiri. Very sad. That's true, actually. That's really sad. But Nahiri is still pretty useful. Yeah. Uh, we can ultimate her and grab um, Consecrate Sphinx. And... Burp. That's basically it. That's that's all you need. We can grab Sylvan Carried. We can grab. Um, can you move the thing so I can see what other bad creatures we can grab with it? Um, oh, there were no other creatures there. Okay. Um, we have five creatures. Yeah. We. Uh, oh, we can grab Huntmaster. That's pretty good. You know, make a two-two wolf, and then it comes back to our hand. Huntmaster is basically a planeswalker. Yeah, he's kind of like a planeswalker. He's got a lot of text on him. Defining feature of a planeswalker. Ooh, Oath and Nissa. I think I'll keep this because of Oath and Nissa. Yeah, I, I agree with that. We can play all of our planeswalkers. We got a f three, a four, a five, and a six. Yep. And if we hit a... Hit, like, land. Then we'll top deck a soul ring. With... Meh, land's fine. Yeah. It's basically a ponder that makes you cast all your... Hat Mike, you should get a cool hat as Chandra really warm also. I don't even know what that means. I don't either, but I like it. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in for the cool, warm hat. We do need a second blue to cast this Burberry, but... Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to Colagon's Command, whatever this is. What? Really? Dude, we can Colagon's Command that. We can We can do both modes on it. <laughs> Shock it and destroy it. You're not getting away from me. Man, and our mana base is like shaping up real swell we do need a second blue but that's pretty much it yeah but we're gonna we're gonna play jora oh my god that was good i'm glad we waited on this Colagon's command uh destroy an artifact wow that's gas bye bye they're gonna go like tap for spike really okay <laughs> sure Oh, people are so weird. Oh, that was a good draw. So... We just play that next turn, though. We go Joyra, and next turn we can play this, and then still play Chandra and draw two cards. Yes. Presuming they can't kill this with their two mana. They couldn't. Nice. This is going to be a real good turn. That is the second blue for Bribery. Maybe we just Bribery here with the, the green deck. Probably. They're probably going to concede, which is real sad because we have a lot of good, cool things. Like we could actually soul ring them bribery. I don't know why we didn't do that. Yeah. Progenitus. I'll take it. Deal. <laughs> Seems good. All right, that'll do. <laughs> it's like maybe they won't take it. Maybe they won't find the one like gold card with ten mana <laughs> symbols on it. <laughs> Magic's a heck of a game. Ooh, we have a good time. We have a good time. All right, so we leave bribery in. Yeah, that seems like a good choice. He, Solid what play. To out we have to assume they're gonna. They have natural or We didn't really take a good look, but yeah. Um, deck's perfect. Run it back. Day of Judgment still kills a progenitus, right? Yes. I'll bring that in. Actually, if they're like a green deck, I really want to be be Day of Judgmenting anyway. So, uh, Manic Vandal seems good here. Probably get rid of Rakdos Return. Remember that time our Planeswalker deck um, ended up bribering for their Progenitus on turn like three or four? Hey man, remember our last Planeswalker deck that was like like casting Emrakuls on turn two? I think, remember all of our decks that were doing cool stuff? Yeah, that was cool. I had a good time. That was a good noise. Thank you. Can you do... <laughs> You want me to do it now? 
It's not time like the present, right? I'll do it when do we, we have do we have a plan for it? I'll, I'll do it when like we lose real bad. Because okay. we're gonna lose real bad. Why do you say that? At some point. What if we? It's never... it's his it's it's like, history. It's history. I like I've that makes I've sense. I'm studying history. Trends are there. We're gonna lose real bad at some point. It might be now. It's probably now. Keep. <laughs> See you later. I'm not thrilled with this four card hand. Man, none of my decks do cool things. Hat Mike, can you school me in the art of cool decks? All right. Uh, rule number one: uh, forget everything you know about Magic and just like completely tunnel vision on the cards that you like. Just be like, oh, that's my favorite card, and then like, like Goldfish Brain immediately look at the next card in the pack and be like oh that's my favorite card and then just you know just take, don't just click just click as fast as you can don't do any of those things these are not solid just close your strategies. eyes and uh just click randomly or just look at the screen let the time run out oh, no. he's oh god he's making a lot of mana this is turn two what happened uh the reverse game took place where they got to play cool things fast and we got to mulligan to four Man, automatics do cool. Oh, that's the that's literally. Yeah, the... yeah I'm 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 teaching them. You're not teaching anybody. Hat this is how I draw a cube, and it's so bad. Yeah, <laughs> immediately followed by hat. Mike makes sense. This is basically the internet's response to every single card that gets spoiled. Uh, it's one person saying this card is broken. How can they print this? And another person saying this card is utterly unplayable. Uh, they're very similar. But which could it be? I think it's both at the same time. What is that, memory jar? It's really Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's opinion on cards. I want to draw... Okay. That's kind of like a good card. Now we need to draw a white source and we can play Gideon. I accept that. That's... It's kind of like a white source. And kind of like a Gideon. <laughs> Use this white that's in the pool. Why are you asking me? Satan. I barely know her. See you later, Sater. He's not going anywhere. He's probably going somewhere. I'll memory jar now. Now I'll draw cards. I mean, they're probably not going to draw cards now. They're probably just going to memory jar and draw cards next turn. Because they don't have any mana this turn, so that seems like a poor use of memory jar. They could use it during our turn to make us draw seven because they're friendly. Ooh, how nice. Oh, they just drew cards. I told you they'd be drawing cards now. <laughs> I guess you did. Yeah, Christian Sater. It's, you know. A oh, oh, wow. Wow. Day of Judgment off the top. We don't have a second white, so don't, no Day of Judgment. White source and a Day of Judgment oh, simultaneously. These blue sources are... We have literally f one, two, three, five out of six blue sources in play right now. I'm just going to pass here. Yeah. I don't see any profitable attacks. DM Harnack, thanks so much for saying so, buddy. I think you're fantastic. It's not Seder Day, it's Chicken Sun. That's true. You are uh, you make a valid point here. You got a smart chat. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Did you know that? Oh, at least I see. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's bad news, Bears. No, that's Garrick. Oh. Okay. Oh, here we go. Four, five, six, eight, eight mana? I was just going to create a huff right now and kill us. Because magic is a fun game. Full of strategy and intrigue and challenges. Hey. Static Suicide, 34 months in a row, buddy. Thank you so much. If you guys haven't done so, check out my uh, Patreon page because I posted a an episode today about the bannings and unbannings that took place on Monday. So you guys can check that out. It is, uh, it's a free episode, so you don't have to be a patron, too. Ooh. I like free. Me too. Oh. 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 What's he doing? What's he doing with all his mana? What are you doing with none of his mana? Okay. Hey, n nothing? <laughs> I'm actually going to make a guy first because if they have Crater Hoof, do we just win with a Crater Hoof right now? Was my hat free? No, I, I paid $10 for it. This is hilarious. If we just get Crater Hoof and all our guys get plus 6, 12, 18, plus 9. What's that guy? That, that Crater Hoof? That, that Hoof's my goofs? 
So what is this? 9, 6, 12, 18. This is 27. They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So they basically have to block with everything and they get to keep one power left. Yeah. No, no, no. Undo. No, undo all of them. Why don't you just <laughs> why don't you choose like one random satyr? <laughs> That's amazing. Did we just really have a terrible... We, our hand was terrible and we just go bribery into... Uh, into Crater Huff? Okay, that's three. Yep. That's five. So you're still taking four from Crater Huff. You're taking 18 plus four, so it's 18, 19, it's 22. Still dead. So you actually... You have to block with everything. And yep. then you go to one. Okay, so you're taking 23, you're taking 21. You're taking 20 right now. Six, 12, 18. Now you're taking 19, and you can't actually crack... Because... Yeah, that yeah, we'll trample over you. Up, oh, up, oh, he's he's doing the cyclings. Did you see Progenitus was no longer in the deck? Why didn't he fauna shaman to grab Crater Crater of Behemoth and cast it last turn and kill no, us? No, like why didn't he do that in response to our bribery? I don't know because they're dead. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> man. What in the earth? Oh god! All they had to do was be like fauna shaman. I'll get Crater Huff. I don't that I don't know how that game I don't know how that uh, that entire match worked. Bribery and a progenitus. He's like, I'll take progenitus. I'll show you. I'll take progenitus out. And I'm like, Whoop. I'll get your crater hoof. I, I could have avoided all of this. <laughs> oh man. To be fair, their deck is pretty terrible. What's terrible about it? They have crater hoof behemoth. They have Garrick Gai Gaia's cradle. Yeah, their deck was good. Like, their deck seems just fine. They have harmonize. Um. I think their deck was fine. I think our deck is probably worse than their deck. However, I will keep this hand in the hopes that I hit any blue or any green mana. You don't, you don't, you don't ship this card. You just hope. So let's say you mulligan to two. You got Island Ancestral Recall. You're like no. I can assume they didn't have Progenitus in hand because they discarded Walking Ballista with with Fauna Shaman, and at any point they probably would have discarded um, Progenitus over over Fauna Shaman or over uh, Walking Ballista rather. I'm out after that because I'm laughing too hard. Fantastic. Then my job. Oh, hey, don't watch the stream. We'll get into your YouTube videos recently on Sarah Medium fans. <laughs> I said no chance. I accept this compromise. I will keep this hand. Uh, no, you See can't. See you later. Bye. You don't need to be here. This isn't for you. Adults only, Garrick. Bam, 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 bam. Are you ready? It's going to be Mock Sapphire off the top. I don't know what that. Are you gonna eat it? Okay, that's, that was, it's not. It's not it. That's actually might of, be the furthest from a mock sapphire. Kind of like a mock sapphire. It's actually nothing like a mock sapphire. It's blue. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well we're looking rough here. Any red source is good because you can call a Gon's command, and that's not that great. Actually, green or blue? Come on, green or blue? Green. Oh, we did. Dude, he's got Misha's Workshop. I'm scared. I'm not. Misha's Workshop, I, I think, is one of the more underwhelming cards. I'm scared. Dang it. Well, we I, can take any of these. We, we have a lot of red sources, right? So. Yeah, I think it's actually just Huntmaster. I don't care about the second green here. Yeah. In before we draw a Nissa. I mean, our odds of drawing a, a land are also pretty reasonable. And any Planeswalker we can cast now, so. Boy, our hand really wants a blue. It wants two blue even more. Do you think we could uh, ask our opponent to lend us some? Maybe. Oh, they didn't do anything. What's going on here? You can cast that guy. Countered. I mean, it's 100% getting countered, sure. Wow. The rudest possible counter spell. Is it rude? Days? This is, this is like super rude, but like I feel like that was just a, a fair, unrude use of when you When you cast it for its mana cost, it's less rude. Yeah. I Up. think. Here we go. Artifact spell. Up. I don't know. The turn five middle worker just doesn't really do anything for me. Just knew it. <laughs> we have both in it, so we're fine. We don't have a second, a fifth land. Yeah, I know, but like, we're fine. We're fine. I don't think you understand. Everything will be okay. Don't worry. Maybe we'll block with Metal Worker. That'd be gas. I guess they just block the thing in the ice, huh? Yeah, probably. Burm, burm, 
Want to see my Grixis thing, Dick? That's inappropriate. It is inappropriate. This is a family-friendly stream, my friend. Three colors on board, six cards in hand. Can't cast anything. Reeled a metamorph. On uh -oh. high tide. Here we go. And he's he's got artifact mana. He's was this, oh that's consecrated sphinx. I'm gonna vomit now. Oh god. Nope. We're done. <laughs> See you later. Bye. And that'll do, pig. All right. So we did die to our mana base. Uh, Pride Mage seems pretty good against this deck. Yeah, he's got a metal worker, so we can be like. Day of Judgment also seems good, too. Day of Judgment seems good against all the decks, I think. They got Huntmaster. I don't care about you. It's got the Rakdos' return. Ooh. Keep. Keepy weepy. No one's weeping. He's going to be weeping in a little bit. Really? We can't cast any of our spells. We're just keeping it because of his soul ring. Yeah, he's going to be weeping a little bit. Okay, I, I I accept. Should we start with the uh, the stomping ground in case we draw? Yeah, it? obviously okay. we should have. Okay. Um, I'm just I'm just gonna assume that we don't draw red mana and you know. All right, are we are we gonna place bets on this? No, because okay. I don't want to nailed it. I'm not homeless, Mike. I have a home. Where's your home? It's in Syracuse. Country road, send Mike home. What? To the place. Double, 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 blue, blue. Yeah, this is going well. Yeah, it's fine. This game is starting differently. No, it's not. We still don't have anything we can play, so unfortunately, nay. Uh, I don't care about that, but I will eventually, I'm sure. So we still can't cast anything, but at least we can remand something. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, seven mana, and we can't actually cast anything can't right cast now. Cast spells. Oh, is Hat Mike from West Virginia? Yeah, he's, he's got a Mountain Mama. Well, I'm gonna feel good about remanding whatever this nonsense is. Oh God, they're gonna do it again. Nope. Nope. <laughs> that's that's not. Happening. We have no way to deal with it though. That's the sad part. Oh, that's a good one. We can bribery something from his deck. Ooh! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can bribery and Colagon's command here. All right. That's pretty gassy. <laughs> All five colors, one castable spell. So we're going to go blue, blue, this, and this. Bribery your face. Let's see if Daze is in their deck now. They Daze this last game. Right. I'm going to see if it's in their actual deck okay. so that we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, we take that guy. We take that guy, we're like, yeah. That seems good. That guy's pretty good. It's probably better than Muldrifter, right? I don't know, dude. That's uh, that's questionable. Uh, discard and destroy. Discard and destroy. <laughs> These are my primary initiative. These are my modes. Oh, we can actually. They're gonna play. They're gonna copy it with Blightsteel. Or and then we're gonna we're gonna shander a pyromaster, make it can't block. Yeah. And then we're gonna kill them. Yeah. This is pretty good. He's like, I revealed Phyrexian Metamorph, you knucklehead. Oh, he control magic it instead. That's much worse for us. I see. <laughs> Boy, this is awkward. We had it all planned out. We saw all the lines except for that one. It's a good one. It's a good one to, to not it's see. It's a block or attack or just block? It's block. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, we can see if there's an anguish to unmaking one time. Please. He... he... That's not it. Uh, so if we anguish unmaking the control magic, isn't it going to go back to him anyway? I don't think so. Could have played this for one. I don't care anymore. I like it. It's not going to be relevant. Yeah. We get a block. 
theoretically. No, we don't. Oh, yeah, we do. I thought you had 12. My bad. Guess medium fans are your kryptonite, too. Yeah, I can't. This is unfortunate. I mean, it's hard to beat Double Consecrated Sphinx into Blightsteel Colossus Control Magic next game. It's a little tough. I, uh... Yeah, that's all. That's all. <laughs> Thanks, Hat Mike's favorite card. <laughs> <laughs> What was your favorite card? Everflowing Chalice with the <laughs> thing revealed. <laughs> <The> Chandra. <laughs> yeah, you did do this to us. Can I just metamorph and copy this and have two blight steals? Why isn't it legendary? This shouldn't be legendary. No. No, nah, those, are, those are just everywhere. They're walking around all over the place on, uh, on Mirrodin. This is the only time blue has ever been good? Wow, Sarah. What's it like to live in that fantasy world of delusion? What? Blue's never good. Did he ever do an animal step like the woman step with animals? No, I don't think so. That would be sweet, though. I could do that. I like animals. I want to metamorph this, but I'll be less mean and attempt the win. Sorry about the game one mull and my own... Oh, I see. Yeah. Coward. <laughs> I don't... I think your deck seems fine. I don't like... like... Yeah. I don't like it's always there. It's always there. The, card, the next card is always correct. Oh, well, that's not the, that's not getting us out correct. Of that. Correct. Wow. Because you're stupid, ever flowing chalice. Hey, what? I love ever flowing chalice. I actually don't think ever flowing chalice is great in our deck. Yeah, let's get it out of there then. I think we can actually put something more useful in. I would actually probably just play another land over it because of this deck. Yeah, let's do that. Colorless mana is not something we're in desperate need of. That's kind of another blue, to be honest. We have two double blue cards and a bunch of blue early stuff. Bunch of, bunch of blue. You might say I'm blue. To... Oh, dude, hey, what blue. happened? Hey, what happened on last match? Oh man, we lost very badly. so uncomfortable man <laughs> oh we get the the turn one ancestral recall i think we're just gonna turn, turn one carry at it right yeah you're like yeah yeah it's probably good i'm waiting for him to hear the baby voice because yeah boy that thing is distressing yeah i'm waiting for baby rages to start start filing into the chat who baby rage i don't know what that is it's a baby but he's screaming <laughs> oh makes sense i want to i want to draw soaring here so we can turn to bribery and yeah, that's good too so we don't have to play this turn but we do have a one two three four we just do a million things next turn yeah Hey, there's baby rages. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it is. Look at that. <laughs> Look, this is Michael Barbobly Boo. This is actually the one who made a screen name based on yours truly. Well, that would be me, I guess. So, Mike B. Yeah. <sighs> do we just bribery into their two open mana? Uh, I mean, like, how big do you want to go? Like, do you want to just, like, assert dominance? Like, let them know who's in control here? No, I want a Nissa here, because that's I feel that's safer. If they want to counter Nissa, that's cool. Oh, she just resolved. Now I wish we briberied. Making them for... Fo nah, not really. I'm still fine with it. This feels, this feels safer. They're going to path to exile this. Oh, I got to land. Why is it an emote only now? Why are we doing this? For baby rage. No, what? Why? Oh, crying out loud. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable, man. It's not okay, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm so... Oh. 
Why are you the way that you are, man? Listen, man, I I find noises and I'm like, ooh, good noise. And then I try to make that noise. And then once I can make that noise, I can now make that noise. It's, it's what happened with the kazoo noise. And I was like, oh, I want to make kazoo noise. Baby noise? was like, You're like, this is what I need to make. I need to make this yeah, noise. Yeah, like there was, there was a time in my life where a lot of people were little whiny babies. And I had to let them know that they were little whiny babies. This is us playing around Mana Leak and Days and Force Spike and yeah. pretty much everything we need to. Yes! Let's take a gander at this deck, but Torrential Gearhook <laughs> is actually insane because we have Ancestral Recall in the graveyard. Yeah. Oh, they got a Burberry too. And a Mystical yeah. Tutor, Search, Spoon Verdict. Their deck has got a lot of good cards, but I don't really see what kind of strategy we got going on here. They also have seven cards in hand, so they, I guess they could have some shenanigans. We're about to have seven cards in our hand. Yeah, it's just a torrential gear hook kind of day, I guess. Yeah. Country road. Take me home. Yeah, I'll cast that without paying its mana cost. Me. Yeah, I'll target myself. Yeah, I'll take all these. So one, two, three. We can't really do anything else except for these two. Man, if only anguish I'm making was just instant speed vindicate. I was thinking that. I mean, you lose three life, right? It's yeah. fair. I think I'm actually just going to keep this... Uh, four damage is a lot. No. I would just, yeah, I was just going to say, just, we'll just, attack just smack them. Just smack them. Bribery is such a feel-bad card. Not only yeah. are you getting their best card, but you're getting it for a substantial discount. Yeah. Oh, you have a sweet 20-mana spell? Well, I have a 5-mana spell. Not only do you not get to play it, I get to play it. I get to see your entire deck, and I get to play it for only 5-mana. Like there's, it's like a four pronged feel bad card. <laughs> are are there like different tiers of feel bads? Like oh yeah, like if the card only did one of those things, like but you know another card did another one of those. Can things? You stop talking about your butt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That's. That sounded just like a little baby Frank. No, man. Yours was, like, it's uncom It's disconcertingly awkward. <laughs> Very realistic. Like, yeah, but it's like it's like Uncanny Valley realistic. Where I'm like, no, this ain't okay. That's coming out of a full-grown man. <laughs> yeah, it's coming out of a full-grown man. You got a speaker in there? Got a speaker in your throat? I don't. Oh, I do. That's how I'm able to make all those noises. I don't have that. Do we want to try to Nahiri here? I do. I mean, if you were going to answer your own question, why would you even ask me? It felt fair to ask you. Okay. Everything's just resolving. I'll discard card. we we discard island? Yeah, probably island. You don't need too many of those anymore. We're going to beat you with a volcanic island. How do you feel about that? We're going to beat you with a volcanic island and your own creature. And a planes. Oh, they're paying costs. Uh-oh. Well, there's no sell the wreckage, so that's nothing I'm concerned with. Alright. I like that. Oh, Path your own creature will get a land. Give me a forest. I got a Nissa. Vamp Tutor. Well, I don't know what that is, but you're going to 12, and then you're taking 8, so you're going to 4. So you really gotta have the... He's gonna bribery us. That's... I feel like they might, but Consecrated Sphinx is already in our hand, and we have basically no creatures. Yeah, I know. Like, he's, he's gonna, gonna get, like, Huntmaster or something. He's gonna bribery us and be... Oh, no, nope, he's... up oh, Springberg. Alright, that's fair. Solid choice. Aren't you still dead? I still have a Nissa on board. Yeah. He's got a fail push. That's also lethal. They have Fatal Push? No, I'm saying, like, he might have Fatal Push. Like, it could have been one of the, like, six cards in his hands when we cast that. They have Verdant Catacombs. Do they have any land they can get that gives them blue? For, like, Repeal? Yeah. Repeal is not land, isn't it? Yes. 
Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna try. Yeah, to because kill if it was land, oh my god, if it, a one mana boomerang that draws you, <laughs> like. Oh yeah, you're right. It, it has to be not land. That'd be insane. <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go. Shrouders needs better two attacks. I mean, wait, what? But we have two creatures. Yeah, but they're at. They're at. Um. They're trees. They're two at ones. four. I'd rather just I'd rather just play one guy and then if they deal with that we can play another threat. I don't think we had enough mana to do both. We had five left over. Oh. So we could have played Garrick and made a guy. Yeah. Or Shambling Vent and Garrick was, make this, a guy. This person was saying uh, Dushandra and attack when it's a land. Oh, you can't. No, we only yeah, had five mana yeah. on board. And uh, we would have had to play our six mana. Because they... Wrath of God. Wrath yeah. of God. Yeah, they blew up our volcanic island. I kind of like Skuller here. Yeah, he just he's just like good duress, kind of. A, d a duress that attacks them. I think Deccan's still out. They didn't have a ton of creatures. And we already have Anguish and making Kulagon's Command Manic Fan. They don't actually have a ton of artifacts either. Like, their deck is literally... Their only artifact is like Torrential Gear Hulk, actually. Alright, so take out Manic Man, we'll put it in Goblin Chamber. <laughs> <laughs> I think Thrun's actually yeah, pretty Thrun. good. Yeah, it's Thrun. I went to fast forward remembering I'm not YouTubing. Wow, you didn't even want to sit through our sideboarding? Wow. Wow. Next time we sideboard, let's make it the most entertaining content of wow. the entire stream. No. What? No. Yes, no is correct. <laughs> That's the correct answer. <laughs> How about voice, too? We can just bring in all these cards that aren't... We gotta leave the Planeswalkers in. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Um, they don't have many counter spells. Rakdos' return could be good. They have literally counter spell and and they, uh, commit to memory. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And this is like the deck we want to Rakdos return. So what are we taking out? We gotta take out one thing. Time to take out Bribery. We only saw a Torrential Gear Hulk. Yeah. Thoughts on the Legacy Bands? I literally posted a Frank Thoughts today on the Legacy Bands on my Patreon page, so you can check that out if you'd like. I will mulligan. I will mulligan. I will sure. Keep... You know what? Sure. Get to cast that guy on curve. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Beely, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Long time YouTube, dude, long, long time YouTube viewer. First time catching you on stream. Six months sub, though. Really appreciate that. Awesome, awesome. That's always a good feeling, like where it's like, wow, they like me enough to just give right. Me you're money, not even yeah, if they're not. You're subscribing like, to the stream, even though you can't even watch the stream. You just watched on YouTube. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, I didn't think so. I was like, no way. I've seen you. I didn't think so actually. I was like, that doesn't even make any sense. But people do that. Like, I, I, it's hard to keep track of like what people are and aren't able to. Yeah. To catch. So. Either way. They do say that, and that, that's that is pretty common. That's been said a bunch of times. So, I also like it. I'm like, yeah, that's awesome, because it takes effort to like go. Oh, that's cool. Let's do that. It takes effort to like go from YouTube to actual Twitch, Twitch yeah. especially when you don't even watch Twitch and subscribe to to show support. Like, that's cool. Oh, he's... Super and DK. The link is in my Twitch profile. <laughs> it's like you can also just here look. Uh, it's literally my Patreon that? page. Probably remand that. They only have three cards in here. Why do I care about All that? Right. Yeah, never mind. I'll just remember they play with that. All right, fine. You win this round. Swamp. I take vacation days so I can watch. Me too. Me too. JC, JC, thank you. So JC, I, I always appreciate you, buddy. What are they doing here? Nothing? Just deal them to make them discard? That seems bad. We'll get to that eventually. I'm I'm feeling good about it. If they're not doing anything. If they're not doing anything. Then we're fine. Can I call this Mike Cheech and Chong Mike? Well, my dad does look like Tommy Chong, so. <laughs> but does he look like Tommy Cheech as well? <laughs> that's not even a real person. <laughs> I thought that's why they were called that. It's Tommy yeah. Cheech and Tommy Chong. Yeah, Sean. because they share a first name. Yeah, it's not Cheech Marin. It's Tommy Cheech. Uh, last three tracks you've listened to, uh, they're all tracks from the Gorilla's new album that just came out like 
That that just dropped recently. You yeah, say? that came out like three days ago. I ain't happy. I'm feeling mad. My name is Nick Hat Mike. I have a hat. My future coming on, not for long. Hat Mike, it's coming on. Man, you kind of nailed it. Yeah, I know, dude. You kind of knocked it out of the park. Yeah, you you kind of Tommy cheached it. <laughs> Tommy Cheech, famously known for knocking things out of parks. <laughs> Actually, that was his day job before he was a uh, part of the Cheech and Cheech show. <laughs> the Cheech and Cheech. Wait, show? now there's two Cheeches. <laughs> Where's Tommy Chong and all this? <laughs> oh Lord, we're having a good time. So many Cheeches. Such Demonetized. <laughs> too real. <laughs> Our opponent is literally doing nothing. It's actually incredible. <laughs> They're like, I'm just going to flip this search for his Kanta. I heard that's a good card. I'm going to win with it. Let's play this guy. All right. I'm going to counter something in response. I hope they try to bounce this guy. It's a legendary creature. I can just pop it right back to your little hand. What? <laughs> False. It's a legendary creature. That's why I can pop it back to your hand. Yeah, because that's how Krakus works. Oh, oh my god I didn't see the data correct What a cheech Am I right? Classic cheech Classic cheeches What are you doing? Oh. Yes! No he added mana He added mana No dude He added mana That's because when you click it That's oh, the only that's mode right. Okay 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 That's fantastic I told you he was gonna do it And now he's probably like Oh this is awkward I should have countered that Oh, oh I can't do that either <laughs> I know I'll supreme verdict it My life turn. has been all mistakes Leading up to this moment I'll Supreme Verdict it next turn. I told you. I told you he was going to do it. Like, because you can tell, like, even though it's digital, you can tell he's so he's so confidently placed. Yeah, he's like, like I, I don't care. I have a Caracas. And I'm like, buddy, you're good. Hey, care. we played that guy. Kotaku, did I get face you a few minutes ago? I actually went 3 0. Also, hi, it's my first. Yeah, I think your deck is fine. Yeah, your deck was awesome. I, I think you were. I don't know. I was like, you said it's not that good. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Your deck looks, looks great. Yeah, your deck was super cool. I don't know what they even get with this. Like Hunt Master. And then we just kill it. Like, we have Consecrated Sphinx in hand. We have, like, Sylvan Carry added in our deck now. This is great that they did this, actually. Yeah. Nice turn. And they tapped their Ascanta for it. Well, they can't activate it. And they tapped it for it. They did. You're right. I didn't think about that. It's a good point. They're like, where's all the creatures in this deck? <laughs> where's all the creatures? That's what I just said. I wish you were such a, I wish you weren't such a cheech. I'm a cheech. Got my rudimentary foot. What a cheech with a rudimentary foot over here. This is unbelievable. There it <laughs> I is. Knew it. There it is. Uh, make you discard a card and shoot the wolf. Is this the fifth prong of bribery feels bad? It's the only prong that affects the, yes. the person casting it. That's correct. Got rid of a path. Seems good. Amazing. Oh! Duh! Oh, I actually... um. Did we, yeah, I was going to say, he has Supreme Verdict. In yeah, but they're tapped out is the problem. So, like... He also yes. used one of his counter spells already. Oh, yeah, they only have Commit to Memory. That's true. Yeah, I'll just play it safe then. Yeah. God, it, oh my god, do you know how hard it is for me to not... Just play Consecrated Space? Well, to not, yeah, to not, to decline getting two cards here. Plus, they could try to find it. One, two, three, activate. Oh, I can't cast it, though. Also, if, even if they commit to memory, it, like, who cares? Yeah. You were a bully to both mics? What does that mean? He's saying you're a bully to me. Ooh! That's a good one. I'm sorry for being a bully to you, man. It's okay, man. I didn't, know, I didn't know I was that, but... <laughs> I'm used to all the bullying. One. Thank you. That's, that is correct. <clears throat> oh, they do have commit. Look at this. Oh, that's worse. That counter spell. That's worse. That's, yep, we yeah. should have just played it. That's very not good. I feel bad now. Yeah, I'm sorry, Frank. I don't forgive you. Yeah, this is really bad. I liked it better when we could have resolved this. I feel bad. I mean, if their last card in the hand is Supreme Verdict, then you're correct, but... Now I feel like we really have to... Okay, I don't care about that. Are you going to attack me? Do it, I dare you. He won't. That's good. 
Power! My last, last two draws have been soaring into Mox Sapphire. Power! I heard you. Power. I heard you. What was he digging? I have no idea what, what they're was doing. He, was he digging? Sphinx is Rev? Oh, I didn't even see that. Was it in his hand? Probably in his hand. It was probably in his he hand, He had like yeah. 700 cards in his hand. They had like seven cards at the time. Yeah. Hey, that's what we do. We got the better one of that. Well, not yet we don't. Soon. I, can't, I don't think there's any guarantee of that. Soon. Nope. Still don't think there's a guarantee. Yeah, because it's their main phase. Soon. Damn. Nope. That's Tide Hall Scholar. I hope they kill in res <laughs> Hey, they did have Supreme Verdict. Uh, I'm going to take... Take the tutor, obviously. The other two I don't care about. You can face fetters my tutu? Sure. One, whatever happened to your chair buck? Seriously, did you get the part to ship it off or what? No, I didn't yet. <laughs> it's only 30 bucks. I probably will do it, but I have not done it yet. Wow, this this one Torrential Gear Hulk. I wish we kept this Coligons command so we can go kill the, uh, the two dudes. Two dudes. He's got the command to I'm sorry, did you say doo dudes? Doo-doos! Did you say doo-doos? Doo-doos! We're done. Alright. Why are we done? Well, it's... Why... We don't have to be done. Yeah, no, we do. 1,000% we do. <sighs> hey, do you know we have power? Thank you! Scorched Kid, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Happy 4th to you as well, buddy. Did you know... Your mother was made of power. You've got the power. I know. Boy, this is a real boring game. I don't know if their deck can actually beat a Thrun. Is my... I don't know if our deck can actually beat drawing lands. I mean, we have 22 cards, they have 12. So we win in 12 turns. Got them on that Like, clock. do they seriously have any way to deal with a Thrun? Probably not. They have Supreme Verdict. Mystical Tutor. Like, Elspeth is good. I guess they can get an Elspeth. Yeah, they, Els Elspeth is like... It can overrun player. us, but... Yeah. I mean... We know three of the four cards in their hand. They can overrun us, Memory but... Jar. Are they going to overrun us before they deck? They also have this this popping off soon? Yeah. Oh, that's a oh, good... That's, 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 a, that's, a, that's a thing that can beat us. <laughs> that's a way. Some type of way. They have memory, though? What does that mean? Commit to memory. Oh, yeah, sure. They can shuffle their their nonsense back oh that seems good for us though like i'm fine with that i'll draw seven uh hat mike what other sounds you got on top of kazoo and baby rage uh i don't know i'll get back to you on that for the next draft can you just do only baby talk baby noises <laughs> it's literally the the vocalization of uncanny valley that's literally what it is I'm going to save this for our storm count. Yes, the new gorillas. Remember they play this fast spot? I don't think they've put a single land into play. Yeah, you're right. For... I was going to tell you to remand that. Yeah, I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. Can we turn on turn on baby only mode? Ugh, cringe city. <laughs> Chat will be in emote mode and Hat Mike will be in SFX mode. This game is super exciting. He's got his Vampiric Tutor back. Why don't they target the throne with that? What an amateur. <laughs> Coward. That's why. Did you know cowards can't block wars? Warriors? I did know Warrior that. Wars? Yeah, I did know that. Uh, Vampiric Tutor with Ancestral Revision on the side. They just took five from the, un from the Anguished and the Vampiric Tutor. Yeah. My god. Well, they're like, I got my Torrential Gear Hulk. They can't attack me past that. The thing is, now they have six cards, so like, you don't even want to commit to memory because you just drew a bunch of cards. Yeah. They have six cards in their hand. Yeah, they also have six cards in their life. I know, it's actually ridiculous. Where are my Ancestral at? Do, 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 do. Hmm. <laughs> Stip, only take cards which Hat Mike has in his soundtrack. I don't even know if that's possible. Oh, look, they... Dude, Garrick? Where we, is it? We can take Bone Shredder. 
some bone trigger mix. All your noises are very, very loud just because you're literally doing them right in my ear. Yeah. I'm also a very loud person. That's correct. I mean, I love you, but... I apologize for being so loud, chat. I forgive you. It's a problem I have. Okay, I'll regenerate. <laughs> we could unmake her. It's a very weird decision to attack with that guy. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot you had regenerate on that guy. I mean, I can regenerate two more times. You get a memory jar here? <laughs> Do that. Uh-oh, out of cards. <laughs> Oh, that would be gas. They can't actually even activate memory jar. <gasps> That's surprisingly good. They actually have to commit to memory this turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have to do that. Yeah. I guess they could kill Ashiok. Yeah, they can kill Ashiok, but. Yeah, I mean, that's that's always a possibility, but... Yep, all your things. Wow, this game is... Yeah, but if we draw Ancestral Recall... We got a 1 in 20 chance, man. If there's a Nahiri, we have... Yeah, actually, Mox is good to keep in hand because we do have Nahiri in our deck. Do they have the memory to both memory and activate Colonnade? 5, 6, 7, 8... They know what Ashiok does to them, right? Like, okay, yeah, they're. They have to do it. Yeah. You're good, man. Oh, they can also commit to member. They could just commit the Ashiok. They're committing the Torrential Gear Hulk. What? They have two cards in hand. It's got to be super. Oh, they're going to face Fetters, this guy. Okay. That seems fine. Oh, they are doing that. Huh. Hey, we got Max Zephyr back. Chandra seems real good here. We can just negative two and then kill one of their Planeswalkers. We got what back? Got Max Zephyr back. We got the power. Oh, recalls in exile because we gear hulked it, right? No, that was first game. Oh, that was first game. We haven't recalled anything yet. Well, let's do this first. So you're still at 12 cards. You're still at 9 cards. Um, you don't have Memory Jar anymore. You don't have Commits Memory. Uh, is this Excal afterwards? Yes. Because he, he aftermathed it. Okay. Uh, you, you don't have these anymore as far as we know. So we can just go Chandra. I mean, if you have Counter... Oh, Counter Spells Excel too. All right. Yeah, he gear holds that. So... So red... Red to Here you go, opponent. Draw seven new cards. I know I'm winning on board, but you can have a chance. <laughs> um... I mean, do we do we just hit them? They're at nine. One, two, three. Maybe. And then like we have, like, two twos that we, like, or three ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have seven mana, so we can actually keep up Colgon's command and play something like, uh, Gideon. Or Garrick, I guess. Don't have black. Great two two. All right, your move. That's even better for us than for them. Yeah, a hundred percent. I'm actually probably gonna kill Memory Jar here. Let's see what they get. Anguished unmaking. What do you they're, think about alphabet stip? I think they're dead if they anguished on making. Because then we kill them. Yes. Should we let them do that? Yes. Do they have any other counter spells? I don't think so. 
Um, I'm not a big fan of the alphabet step just because you it's you do, you have no control over the cards. You don't get any choice in what you're picking. Uh, if there's no A, then, and I'll say it's very time consuming because you're like, oh, there's no A. Okay, B. All right, no B. C. Uh, okay, no C. Okay, D. We have to take this card, and then you literally have no choice, and you're just playing some random pile. Um, that doesn't really like it's one of the few steps that I'm actually not a big fan of. I don't want to memory. I don't want to. I want to kill the memory jar, but. Because if they memory jar during our turn, it's just better for them. So we're just going to kill memory jar and deal you two. No, we're going to wait. Yeah. I don't think they have any other counter spells in their deck. Like, we saw... we saw Commit to memory and we saw a counter spell. Like, those are the two that we know they have. You got it. You're at two. Kill Ashiok. Yeah, I'm just going to kill you. Colagon's Command. Hope you don't have a counter spell. Ba -do 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 -do. Ba -do 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 -do. Pay costs. You can activate it as Kanta. They have cryptic command that we just never saw. It was in my hand the whole time. I mean, we, we basically lose if they have cryptic command. Mystic Confluence also kills us. But we just didn't see it. We haven't seen it in two games. And they've gone through a lot of cards. Yeah. What are they... Oh, Sphinx's Rev. Wow, that's very good. We basically don't win here now. We're in real bad shape, actually, because they can kill this. They kill the Thrun by negativing Elspeth. They're, they're still at two, though. Yeah, like I was going to say, we have a Gideon, we have a Chandra. We oh, have... they didn't actually do that. Okay, cool. All right, we're fine. This is great then. They want to see the step where we alternate picks, but not you like us not knowing each other's picks. It's on enchantment, artifact, or creature. It doesn't do anything here. I guess we could discard, but I'd rather just have Huntmaster, I think. Yeah. I mean they still they still have a what's it called in their deck? Are they just dead? We have th three... No, they're not dead yet. We'll just take Huntmaster as a recovery. Um, no, they are dead. We play both. Yeah, this, they're just dead. One, two. Uh, red. Red. Chandra. We can deal with two creatures and then we have three threats. Um, unless they have an answer, so. Shoot you and shoot you. And then we can go green, blue, blue, white, Garrick, Relentless, and shoot this idiot wolf. Yeah, we have uh, Vanessa, I think. Oh, you're right. Well, what are you going to do? Activate Gijin. I feel like Othanissa might be the most forgotten about. Oh, Garrick. they have Caracas, though. That's annoying. I'll return Gideon. Yeah, that's really frustrating. He might forget. He probably they, didn't they did forget. not forget. God, man. They still have six cards in their deck. I don't think we can play this Huntmaster, though, is the unfortunate part. Nah. Yep, they never forget. I guess we get to make another guy, though, so whatever. Uh, one, two, three, four. Create a gentleman. All right. Your move. <laughs> this, this game is something, man. I 
Okay, so we can we still we still just do the same thing again, right? Yeah, we we shoot things, we kill attack him, attack with things. Oh my god, you have five cards left in your deck. What are you getting? <laughs> like, <laughs> I will get one of my five cards. I will, I just want to add one card from my deck that is the same size as my hand. Yeah. What are you going to get? Sphin Consecrated Sphinx? No, you exiled that. No, you shuffled it back in. Sure, get Consecrated Sphinx. We'll draw a card. Sure. You'll draw cards. Do that. Sure. You know what? Sure. How do you face opponents until turn 16? Uh, you clearly did not see our last match. Is he going to draw two? You go to two cards in your deck. No, they oh, didn't. Elected to draw zero. Weird. What an election. Sacrifice a creature. Do we have anything good in our library? I don't think so. No, not at this point. Can we exile? We can. We can do zero here. Is that good though? We have three attackers. We can make this guy unable to block. We can go block, 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 block. We have to actually shoot the Sean. We if this ultimates were dead. Yeah. So. You and. I don't know. This guy, I guess. Uh, Huntmaster is not a legendary creature, so it is not going to trigger Joyra. Yeah. That is not a historic spell. <sighs> eh, it's just got to be you. I mean, they can attack us for eight next turn, which is pretty frightening. But all our creatures are lethal, so they have to block three. So they can just go block, block, block. I guess we block here. God, we have so many lethal creatures. It's kind of funny. Do we forgot to animate Gideon? Oh, wait, no, he's Krakus. No, they're just going to... Yeah, I forgot about Krakus, so we just we just have him be army man. What is this you're doing? Oh, Gear Hulk. Seriously? You can't Anguish Stun Making. You can Mystical Tutor. You can't Sphinx as Rev. You get Abrupt Decay, which is pretty good, I guess. Are we going to lose this game? Because, like, they just have... Well, I guess we can just play all our guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're like, well, we can block. I'm like, I got, I got four blockers still, bro. Oh my god, really? <sighs> I hate stupid... I hate the... F oh, that's frustrating. I'm also trying to play fast because we have 8 minutes and they have 10. And we might have to go to a game 3 here, so... That's annoying. Yeah, that sucked. Uh, create a gentleman. I mean, on the bright side, like, if they, if they play Supreme Verdict, it's like we don't really care right now, so... Yeah. Like, we have three Planeswalkers, and they just lose their Consecrated Sphinx. We're also at 12 because of the Haunt Master, which is nice. <sighs> <clears throat> so, if they don't kill Haunt Master, we win. If they don't... Well, if they play something, we don't. Oh, we can just... Yeah, we can yeah. flip it back. Yeah, you're right. They actually have to deal with Haunt Master here. Is he Legendary on the backside? No. No. All right. Even if he was, that wouldn't trigger Joyera. Mm-hmm. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm no. saying they could potentially bounce with Caracas, but that's, oh. that doesn't work. I just want to be aware of all the options. Would have been nice to have a Thrawn. I agree with you. Oh, they have a Garrett. Oh, yeah, that's board. right. God, he was hiding over there. I forgot about that, man. Yeah, there's like a lot going on on this board. What are you... Are you really activating Search for Conta? No, okay. I was like, that would be amazing. I would be so <laughs> impressed, dude. Yeah. What do you need still? <laughs> that Sphinx's Rev was so timely, dude. Yeah. Oh, they're both going at Chandra. Can't block either of them, so that's... That's good. Extremely weird. Well, because they, they can ultimate this in a turn. Okay. And now we have no way to pressure the ultimate, so... Still, though, we have no cards in hand. They should have sent one at us, or one... Like, they could have sent it to one to Gideon, one... But then she doesn't die. They want oh, to get it off the right, board right, right, because right. we're sorry, dealing sorry, one right. each turn. Yeah, my bad. 
My bad. I'm dumb. Do we have any creatures we can get? Like, I, I don't think we do. Might as well check, I guess. Voice and <laughs> carry added. Sure. I think we're just dead here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This. Yeah. The, the Chandra. There's too much. The, yeah. The the the, Nista, the Elspeth ultimate is gonna kill us. So, wow. Really don't know how we lost that game, but I guess I kind of do. All right. So chain roller actually seems pretty good to be quite honest. Yeah. So does spell skite. Frost Titan's not terrible either. Actually, yeah, we could have animated Gideon, they would have bounced and we would have to draw a card. I don't like Frost Titan because they have bribery, so if they right, right, if right. they bring a bribery, I don't want them to take a Frost Titan because it's much harder to deal with. Yeah. Spell Sky seems pretty good. Yeah. I feel like we our, our deck has a lot of cards that are great against them. I just don't know like we like we just didn't see them in any particular order that was I'm gonna bring in this chain whirler. I like it. It's triple red, and I'm also just gonna play one extra card. So I like it. I like it. Do we? Can't cast anything. Yeah. But their deck is like slow and doesn't do anything either. Like I I would like to see this like see this hand possibly like drawn to a set like more green sources and then like we're fine you get what i'm saying yeah i just think it's like because they're not doing anything for ever and we're like we're getting closer we're halfway there four man on turn two no plays the old five color chain roller deck it's classic We're halfway there. Sure. My turn? No, not Damn my it. turn at all. All right. Well, we had a good run here, guys. This is round three, right? Yeah. Great. That's what I want to see. I don't care about your graveyard. Wow. Literally every color that we don't actually need right now. This is amazing. <sighs> Double white, we have double green, double red, double green, and a green a white card. So we need another red or another green. Yeah, sure. This is just ridiculous. This is why I prioritize lands higher than other things and decks like this, because if you Yeah. Like you just don't get to play your cards. Yep. Pretty sure we actually can't win now. Turn one into Soul Ring and, and into no plays for six turns. Wow. This is where they commit to memory and we just get to laugh. Oh, they didn't. That's amazing. We also didn't draw any lands that let us play any card in our hand. I'm sorry. I have no words. This is, yeah. This is, the, yeah. And now they get to draw three extra cards. Yeah, we're just going to see in this game. Unfortunately, this stipulation did not go as well as the previous Super Friends stipulation. Um, I think it's it was still fun, but I uh, I think that last match was pretty brutal. And so was the second match. The second match was also not very fun. Um, yeah, I think we just needed more fixing lands, and we just didn't get as many as uh, as we wanted. But either way, thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, slam the like and subscribe buttons. Check my Patreon page out and my Twitch profile. I have both links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.